Hi everyone, Aiden here with the trailer. Today we're going to be taking a look at this battery operated fuel pump from TerraPump. Now a fuel pump can be really useful in a variety of situations, whether you've got your vehicle, an ATV, a lawnmower, anything that needs gas really and you need a way to fill it up. You can always just use the can and tip it in, pour it in, but sometimes these cans as they get bigger can be heavier or awkward to lift in and pour, resulting in spills or just general difficulty. Having something like a fuel pump is really easy because you can just put it in, put the hose where it needs to go, and then just pump the fuel where it needs to go. Let's check it out. So this particular pump from TerraPump is a more universal style. The intake portion right here is gonna be 15 and a half inches long and it doesn't thread onto the can or anything. So for this, it would just go down into the can where it would suck the fuel out and output it through this 24 inch hose. So you have to make sure it reaches. And with this, there is no automatic shutoff. There's a version of this that does have an automatic shutoff if that's something you're interested in. As for the universal aspect, they do make versions of this that are also battery powered that will actually thread onto these particular jugs. So they make different adapters to fit different styles of fuel can and even one to fit the more racing style utility can. So there are options out there if you want something that's more custom fit. This is going to be something that's a little more universal. One final disclaimer that I do want to leave you with is that this is rated for certain liquids like gas, diesel, and a variety of others. But for certain liquids like DEF, this is not approved to be used with those. The reasoning for that is that there are internal seals that are approved to be used with certain types of liquids and not others. If you use a type of liquid that this isn't approved with, it can result in corrosion and just the seal breaking down over time. They make versions that are approved for other liquids like DEF, so if you need that, be sure to check it out. And if you are using this for a variety of different liquids, maybe look into getting multiple. If you are running gas through this, you want to wash it out thoroughly with soap and water just to make sure there's no residue if you decide to switch over to diesel. You don't want any of those contaminants mixing together, so if you do plan on using it with multiple types, be sure to clean it. So let's get down to actually using this thing. It's going to be powered by two AA batteries at the top, it doesn't include them, but if you need to pick them up, you can get them here at E-Trailer. And then it's got a control switch at the top for on and off. Like I said, there is no auto shut off for this version of it. So with it, just keep an eye on it and make sure you're monitoring it. With your gas can, you will need to get the top removed so that we can insert this down into the bottom. Like I said, this doesn't thread on there. It'll just insert straight into the hole. Now, depending on how you're using this, my truck has this easy fuel cap. So I'm just gonna need to pop a funnel in there and then I can just fuel directly into that funnel. Popping the wand in, getting this into position right here. I will say because of the length of the hose, it's maybe a little awkward to get it set up. I'm thinking I can just set it right on the side of the truck bed rails there, turn it on. And it does go a little bit fast. So I'm just gonna kind of keep an eye on it and make sure that nothing's spilling out. I think this worked much better in a vehicle that doesn't have this sort of need for a funnel where it can just go straight in just because it does pump up to 2.8 gallons per minute. So it is pretty fast. And after using it, it does still have a little bit of residue left in it. Nothing's really coming out when I turn the pump on though. So I'd say you probably don't wanna store this in your vehicle. You can just put the output nozzle up into that little handy holder there. So it will keep things kind of contained in the hose if they are there. But for me, I'd probably just keep this in the back of my truck rather than bringing it back inside. Overall, I think this is really handy to have though. It was definitely a lot easier than lifting this can up and trying to control the flow of it while also holding a very awkward and heavy jug. Even though I did have to kind of shut it on and off a couple times with that funnel, it was easier to do. Like I said, I think this would work a lot better on a vehicle that didn't have that, or if you're using it for something like an ATV or a lawnmower, I think it's gonna be really great there. I know my dad's lawnmower, anytime I use it, is really difficult to use and fill up because the can is very awkward. Something like this would be a great help, and I know it would help him out a lot, so I probably would consider getting something like this. If you are looking into using it more full time and regularly, I'd maybe look into one that has the auto shut off or one that threads onto it, just because I think that'd be a lot easier to just keep on hand and use more frequently. But in a pinch, I think this will do just fine.